That was a good one. It didn't slip. I'm pouring the coffee. Edwin, you know where your water cup is? No, your your red one. Is your cup upstairs by any chance? It was right. It was right here yesterday. Did you leave your water bottle in the car, Edwin? Or no, I think it's outside somewhere. No, I, I saw him with it in the back area yesterday. I pressed the button too. Can we have a half a bagel? Yeah, you can have his other half. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Can we put a new name Good. tag on? Good. Like she knows. This may look like an ordinary morning of trying to get your kids out the door for school. Hey, hey, Edwin, can you go get your stuff on, buddy? Two, we're gonna rock and roll. You get it one? Okay. Hi. Hi, Mama. Have a good day. All right, see you, Annie. Bye. Bye, Billy. But Jared Valdir isn't an ordinary dad. Five, seven. The former offensive tackle spent more than a decade in the NFL with five different teams. Hey, you gotta live for moments like this, fellas. We have a chance to do something tonight, something with some meaning. Let's go do it. Nothing's handed to us. Believe that. Believe that going into the second half. He's played against some of the toughest. Love you, man. And with some of the best. Let's go, JB. Let's go, JB. You don't see it all. Let's go, JB. Hey, they can't stop us, dude. We're running the ball right at them. So what does a former player do when they retire? For Jared, he's no longer adjusting his gloves to take on the big boys. Instead, he's suiting up to help out the little guys and gals. You gotta eat that uh, that little Mexican slaw that's going on there, though. It's got some honey, some honey dressing on there. You want one or two? My official title is lunch man. I don't know. There's no official title. No, now driving to school with my kids in the morning rather than driving to the team facility. Uh, on most days is a little easier going. Not worrying about any edge rushers when I go to school. St. Paul's isn't just any school. It's also the church where Valdir was married and baptized his two children. The perfect place for a birth of a new career. I posted the job and it was director of food service. I was expecting quite frankly, women that had worked in a kitchen or in food service. Can you open it for all of us? Thank you. All right, you're good. I was kind of thinking to myself, might as well just, you know, take a stab at the dark at this one. I liked cooking. Uh, I knew the value of uh, nutrition for performance for my end, for my career. Welcome, welcome to the kitchen. I thought that would be a cool thing to be able to grow that and take into account for an entire grade school. I also think it's great just for like the St. Paul's community to see like a male figure in the schools. It's a predominant female industry and especially for the boys and the young men to see that you can help and you can give back and you can cook in the kitchen. It's just like, hey, it's not always typical you see a guy cooking, but if Mr. Valdir does it, maybe I want to too. Jared Valdir doesn't just cook up your standard pizza and chicken nuggets. He's bringing the kids of St. Paul's a cuisine you might see in a fine dining restaurant. When the first menu rolled out, it was shock, a little concern. I never thought tikka masala flank steak on a children's menu, and, and, and can we keep this up? Is this sustainable? trying to kind of push their boundaries a little bit with what they're comfortable with. Like today, for instance, was Taco Tuesday. For one of the sides, there was Mexican slaw, which had shredded kale and carrots and cabbage and a bunch of stuff that you know kids typically don't like. But I made sure that the dressing had a good amount of sweetness in it with honey and orange juice, pineapple juice. Might look like a lot of honey, but this is like 20 pounds of greens here. <laughs> trying to balance that sweet with the bitter and make it approachable for kids. Just, hey, just try a bite, see what happens. There we go. Now we're cruising. Jared's good at what he does. The kids are in here and they're in and out and saying hi. And at first they're terrified of, you know, six, eight <laughs> guy going, what are you eating for lunch? <laughs> and now they all walk up and they're, he's best friends with all the kids. He knows them by name. Yeah, you see him but whispering then, to each other. Yeah. Like, that's him. It's like there. Trying to poison us. 
What's he doing to our food? They've never heard of some of the things that they're eating. I hear constantly stories of, of kids who've said, I've never liked beans, but I'll eat Mr. Valdir's beans. You want one or two? Two. We encouraged everyone to try everything on the menu, give it a shot, and after that first month, there was a lot of excitement. <laughs> Their kids are trying new foods and coming home and saying, I've eaten this and I like it, can we make it at home? Mr. Valdir, yeah. I have extra snack. Please have three tacos. Yep. Thank you. Some of the comments I hear are, that's disgusting, that's awesome, that's the best thing ever, uh, that's better than what my mom makes, that's better than what my dad makes. I'm like, taco crazy? He like makes the best food. I wouldn't have eaten coleslaw before, but now I've tried it. It's cool because he used to be an NFL football player. He could have just retired and found another job, but he is serving lunch to a lot of people every day, and I think that's really nice of him. Hey, try your slaw, guys. It has honey and orange juice and pineapple juice in it. I know it's scary and there's stuff that's green in it, but trust me, there's sweetness on the outside, and it's super good for you, okay? Got to have some of the slaw. It's not about accolades for him. He does it because he has a service and servant heart. So whatever he does is really to put something better into the community. How was that drumstick yesterday? You know, not that it's like a crazy career that, you know, you would think of, but you know, to me it is something where I'm able to, to come in and, and really give it my all, pour myself into it. See who can eat the most. Can I have five? Yeah, if you come back five times. I'm grateful for where I'm at in life right now. I get to be a dad, a husband. It's so rewarding and fulfilling, and I feel truly blessed.